Hi, yo, folks. This is Max from GalaxyS2Root.com. Um, so I've got uh, Mui Rom, Rom of the Week, uh, Mayui, whatever you want to call it. Um, this has been requested by numerous people. And uh, I've reviewed the one for a beta version of i90-100 like a couple months before, but it wasn't really functional. And, uh, but now we have Mui for all of them. These are all actually slightly different ROMs, but pretty much the same. So that's why I'm going to make one video instead of making a video for each of them, which is ridiculous. Um, let me show you the lock screen. They're, they're pretty much identical, um, but different, um, different. So let's start with the... Uh, Let's actually go and check out um, the settings. Um, so let's go to settings for all of these um, settings. I'll just show you with two. I have too many on my hands. Um, so if you go, let's go look at uh, about phone. These are all running Android ICS. Um, but Mui, the thing with Mui is it looks so themed you can't even tell if it's running Gingerbread or. ICS. So for the T-Mobile 4.0.3, no 4.0.4, for the AT&T 4.0.3, and also, but it does, uh, it does make it faster for sure. For those of you asking, and we'll do a quadrant just for fun at the end. Um, don't forget to remind me. <laughs> um, so this one's running 4.0.3. Um, this is the Dexter Mui. I think this is an official one. And I think this is a port also, um, but it doesn't matter. They I've tested them all and they work pretty good. Um, let me just go with one of them. Let me show you what they're they're all the same the menu. So uh, let's zoom in here and let me show you what Mui looks like. Mui kind of reminds Mayu or Mayui. I'm just gonna call it Mui. Um, re reminds you of an iPhone because um, if you go to the leftmost place, you can go to um, search and you know you can search for apps or whatever sort of like on the iPhone uh, if you go to the right you're gonna get um, the apps recently added there's no actually app drawer for this ROM um, but the good thing is that you can actually add uh, more screens very simple to do um, hold down the uh, button you go all the way right then you can add a, a screen easily and there's a bunch of uh, MUI widgets that only MUI supports like the notes um, I'm not sure you can download more movie widgets, but you can put like the music thing for your music player. Um, so I've added a screen. All right. So that's kind of um, the movie thing. And the biggest feature about movie is uh, my UI is the themes. Um, so let me show you several themes. Um, these are the. This is the default theme I'm running right now. And if you go to online, you can get a ton of themes. Um, Mui is actually made by Chinese developers originally, so a lot of their users are Chinese, so um, everything's a lot of things are in Chinese, but you can kind of try all of them uh, regardless, but if you speak Chinese, that's even better. Um, the only thing I really wish Mui improved upon was the Chinese to English, so we can actually tell and do a search. When I do a search, sometimes I can't find it because it's in uh, Chinese. But but you get all these all of these thousands of themes for free. Um, you just click on it and download. That's it. So if I only get that, click on it and download. And I'll download the background. And if you want to switch themes, let's say I want to go I'll make it into an iPhone. I can do that. Hit apply. It even comes with its own lock screen. Um, so it'll come with a slide sliding iPhone lock screen if you want. Um, this might be great for those of you who are switching from um, Apple to Android. It kind of gives you that same feeling to um, get you used to the um, the Android. And uh, let me show you the lock screen now. Now my lock screen is iPhone, so that's really cool. Let me show you some other themes. Um, that's the iPhone theme, whoops. Here we go. Let's go um, to the WP7. This is, I think, Windows 7 theme. Um, apply without font. Well, this one, if it, it has font, you might have to reboot, but since I'm just doing this review, I'm just going to apply without um, the font, but it should still look very Windows phone-like, I guess. So now if I hit the home button here, 
I'll get the um, sort of a Windows look. So MUI is probably the best way to get a lot of themes, a lot of, um, you know, like totally change out your phone into looking like a Windows phone or iPhone or just for the hell of it. Um, and also there's many other themes you can get. Um, let me show you a Spongebob theme. Um, for those of you who love Spongebob like me, um, this is, I think, a Spongebob theme here. And it doesn't take a long time. You just download it, apply, and instantly you have all these cool SpongeBob um, icons, themes, even the lock screen. Um, that's really cool, right? But I think I'm gonna go back to the default now because I'm really used to using the default all the time. Um, there we go. Let's switch it back to default, and it doesn't take that long. Um, so Mui Maui is probably the best ROM out there for themes and for all these three phones it's working pretty flawless as I test it. Um, the thing with like Evo 3D and Evo 4G, um, all the Muis they don't they don't have 4G WiMAX working and they're not never gonna work on it. Um, but for these phones everything's working so um, you know it's a great way to uh, you know experience another ROM. And this is uh, one of the ROMs that kind of gives you a totally different experience. Um, so if you go to common settings, let me walk you through some of the differences between the regular Android and MUI. Um, so for wallpaper, you can even get a bunch of wallpapers. Um, lock, you can change the lock screen wallpaper. Um, these are all the ones I downloaded. You can also hit the online button. And these are all free. There's you know hundreds of free ones. So let me switch it to a flower here for my lock screen. All right, and then let me go to my desktop wallpaper. And uh, I've got a bunch of ones here. Let's change it to my favorite uh, San Francisco Golden Gate Bridge. So now I have the Golden Gate Bridge and uh, my lock screen, however, has the uh, something else. And you can see the lock screen, there's actually a uh, unlock camera talk and uh, messaging which is very good um, and also here's the thing you can do um, when you're in the lock screen uh, and then you can hold down the power button and uh, no no, sorry it's the home button it'll turn on the flash and when you let go it'll turn it off so when you're in the dark just turn on turn on your phone with power hold down the power button boom and you got the flashlight sort of like AOKP with the power button slightly different but works well very good little nifty feature I really love about uh, MUI. And also with the phone ringtones, there's a bunch of free ringtones you can get, very easy to download. Again, this is a lot of these are in um, a lot of these are in Chinese. That's only my only complaint. Um, but let's go ahead and do this one. You can play it. Oh, right. And then you can select this. All right, and that changes my ringtone. So that's really cool. And the launcher, you can do additional um, things. Like right now, I have it to 3D cube. This is really cool. It gives me that 3D thing. Um, but let's say you want to do something else. I don't know what what the hell is crossfade. So let's go here. Now that's crossfade. That's kind of boring. And uh, here is the ICS type of um, the, uh, the recent apps. So this looks really cool. Also, um, kind of a, a little bit more mooied, you know. Um, let's go back to settings. Let's change that scroll fade uh, fall down. Let's see what that does. So you see that it's kind of going right to left. Um, it's kind of cool. Uh, little things here and there, but it's kind of the default. Um, default. Uh, what is it? No, let's try rotation also. Whoa, that's funny. Cool. Kind of cool, huh? Um, I like the 3D one the best, so that's all I keep it at. 3D cube. Um, and also, you can wallpaper scroll by types, um, yeah, by theme there. And that's kind of a cool little way, you know, just major feature of MUI um, that you can use. Also, in settings, um, let me see, I think we went covered most of this. Um, mobile network. Let me see. Networks. Alright. 
that's just the usual stuff. Um, so that's kind of an uh, overview of some of the cool features of the MUI. Um, and also I've got, um, it actually runs on SIA kernel I think for the AT&T version and the Galaxy S2. Galaxy S2 I don't have SIA kernel installed but this one I've got it installed here. Um, you can see it's running uh, SIA kernel. So you can actually overclock it um, and it's compatible with most of the kernels. And I've got set CPU app. Um, I got it running fine, just fine at 1.5 gigahertz, lulls active. Um, well, you know what? Uh, smart ass V2 I like the most. This is my recommended setting. Uh, you might be able to go 1.6, just try it out before you set it on boot, because if you set it on boot on 1.6 gigahertz and if your phone doesn't support it, um, you'll end up in a boot loop. So just make sure you test it before you set it on boot. Now when I reboot my phone, it's always going to run at that rate. Um, and if you want to get rid of rag, oop, live rid of lag, you can get the minimum a little bit higher, you know, like 300, 500. Uh, you'll still get pretty good battery life. Actually, I'm going to install SIA kernel on my other one right now, um, just to see. Uh, I'm going to do a quadrant with that test. For T-Mobile, I think there's a bunch of kernels, but I'm just going to stick with that kernel. Um, let me see, what else can I show you? Uh, so, some of the apps that come with MUI, you get this guard thing. Um, you can block calls for certain numbers, which can be um, kind of cool. Uh, very good little feature on the phone, so you don't have to mess with it. Um, compass, recorder, FM radio. What the hell is LVE guard? Oh, that's, that's like the root app stuff. Um, other than that, it's, it's pretty much as you see it. It's a very good ROM, uh, runs fine. Um, camera's working fine for all of them. And uh, it just gives you another experience. Um, for those of you who love theming, this is definitely the fastest way to get a bunch of themes um, and customize your, you know, phone uh, on the go. You know, so the whole theme. So it's pretty cool like that. Um, for installation, uh, make sure you install the correct version. I'll have the download links below. Um, just run fi one file for T-Mobile or AT&T or your i9100. And uh, actually, let's run some um, let's run some tests while this is going. So I've got Xia kernel installed there. And uh, while I install set CPU app, um, you can kind of look at the File Explorer app um, that comes with movie all movie rooms. It looks really cool. You get all this um, music video. It's very nicely organized. You get a nice little graphical thing there. Um, I'm gonna go to my my SD card and find my set CPU app here. Um, one of the things a little bit different with this ROM you'll see here uh, if you press that and install and uh, and see how it's like um, you can do I trust this app I can just do that um, hand launch and also when the super super user thing request pops up it won't automatically do it so you have to go to settings and actually allow root permission to be on and then once you do that now you can run fine um, now it's running now it's running uh, non-rooted so what you gotta do is hold down the center button um, close that app and then go run it again with root so every new app you install will be added at the end which you can customize too as I've shown you now I've got root, uh, let me see that smart ass v2, alright, and let's do a quick test uh, between all of these, oh, let me go download quadrant for all of them. So when you do a quadrant test, make sure you close all the apps, um, and make sure you have your sync turned off. Oh, let me show you the quick settings here, toggles here, so I can turn the sync off, um, alright, and also my GPS doesn't need to be on, and uh, data is on. So that's fine. Let me do that again. Okay, all apps are closed. Uh, let me turn up Quadrant here and do the same thing for all of them so we have a fair test and I can show you the toggles again. Um, this is pretty neat. Nicely uh, organized toggles. You might love this feature. Rotation and you, there's even more for all kinds of different stuff here. Um, hold it down. Close everything that you don't need. Um, set CPU, just let set CPU run here. Alright, and then I'm gonna go to quadrant here. Get them all ready. 
and also, whoops, so here. And uh, there's some more features that I haven't um, shown you, but um, you'll find out. Uh, there's a lot of cool features on this this ROM for all of your turn off. Ah, turn off. Okay, I think that's off. Um, there we go. And then let's do a fair test. And there, now we can get um, pretty good benchmarking here. I got I have them all of them here. Okay. Okay. Um let's do run run run. All right. Um probably I'll tell you that these two will have the identical store scores because I've got they both have same Sinos 1.2 gigahertz processor also uh, overclocked to 1.5 gigahertz with the same governor smart ass v2. This one is just running at stock 1.5 gigahertz, and plus the T-Mobile version is uh, the processor is a little bit slower. Um, so I'm thinking you should get higher numbers, nearly the same here. I'm not sure about this one, um, who, but who knows? That's how we're doing the test. But um, the Galaxy S2i 9100 has taken a lead. Um, these are all using the latest quadrant. They're using all the latest quadrant. And since some of them are ported, they may have some um, performance differences. They're not really the same same ROM, um, but we'll we'll find out here. And uh, this is a great way to kill three three birds with one stone. Um, and also, you know, you can just watch one video, and that's great. This is done already. Um, Thirty-two eighty-eight. 3288 and let me show you what the numbers are like and uh, let's go look at the next two here and 3804 so the AT&T version actually wins and uh, 2741 here so not too bad you're gonna get nearly similar scores um, but I, I, I have seen the AT&T one do really well I've gotten um, near 4,000 every time um, so definitely recommend it and these are both running SIA kernels you can run any kernel you want but I'm just doing it because for dual booting and overclocking and also you can install another kernel on T-Mobile if you want to get it faster um, anyway I just gave you an overview of the MUI ROM and uh, some of the neat features you can do. Um, definitely, this is the ROM of the week. Um, very stable versions. I have download links for three of them, so try them out. Um, you know, you can always back up your current ROM or dual boot like me. You can have MUI and running another ROM, uh, which is great for the AT&T and the i9100. There's no dual booting for T-Mobile yet. Um, sorry, when it is available, I'll let you know. And uh, if you have any of these phones, don't forget to sign up for my email list at galaxyst2root.com. Um, I update you with ROM of the Week tips, hacks, and more like this. Um, and uh, it's a great way for you to communicate with me via email. Um, and, uh, if, you know, I don't share your email with anyone else but my dog. And uh, if you're on YouTube, uh, please hit that like button for me. And uh, subscribe my, to my channel if you have. Thanks a lot. And share this using that button down there with your friends on Twitter, Facebook, or Google+. And thanks you guys for supporting my channel as always. And I'm gonna work on that Galaxy S3 giveaway today and hopefully it'll be up soon, um, by Monday for sure. And uh, great Saturday here in the SF area. And uh, you know, um, stay high folks and don't be an eye whore. Oh yeah.